Australia and New Zealand just wrapped up their cricket showdown, but it wasn't just any match, it was a big deal. Australia came out on top, winning all the matches against New Zealand. But what really happened on the pitch? First off, let's talk numbers. Australia scored 118 runs for four wickets in just over 10 overs before rain cut their inning short. Then, when New Zealand came up to bat, they could only manage 98 runs for three wickets. So, Australia took home the victory. Now, on to the action. Australia's batters started strong, scoring 67 runs in the first six overs. But then the rain came, stopping play multiple times. Despite the interruptions, Australia's bowlers dominated, taking advantage of the wet conditions. New Zealand just couldn't catch up. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Australia. With some key players resting, it was a chance for others to shine. Spencer Johnson, in particular, stepped up with some fiery bowling, making life difficult for New Zealand's batters. Speaking of New Zealand, they were missing some key players due to injuries. Their batting struggled throughout the match, and despite a decent effort from Glenn Phillips, they couldn't turn things around. And let's not forget the fielding blunders. New Zealand dropped three catches, giving Australia some lucky breaks. It wasn't their best day in the field, that's for sure. So, what does this mean for the upcoming T20 World Cup? Well, Australia looks strong, especially with their depth in bowling. As for New Zealand, they'll need to tighten up their game if they want to compete. All in all, it was a thrilling match with plenty of ups and downs. But in the end, Australia came out on top, showing they're a force to be reckoned with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to help us grow and continue creating quality videos for you.